Where are you, honey? Shug. Shug? Okay. Shug. Where are you calling us from, Shug? Atlanta. ATL. How old are you? Oh, I'm not 20. I'm 35. Let me keep You want to say 20? I wanted to say 25, you know. <laughs> you look like 10 years younger, girl. Yeah. But now nah, I'm 35. All right, so we got Suge, Atlanta, 35. Do you have any children? No, ma'am. It is Atlanta night tonight. It is. And that's what I was saying. I was like, ooh, everybody from Atlanta. Everybody from Atlanta tonight. No kids. What you do for a living, boo? I'm in the utility companies. Utility companies. Mm -hmm. And what's your zodiac sign? Scorpio. Scorpio. So we got Suge, Atlanta, 35, Scorpio, no kids. Works with utility companies. What kind of man are you looking for, boo? Um, somebody that is uh driven, uh focused, whatever your goals may be in life. Um, let it be focused, no kids, um honest, not a liar. And that's really it. Like I just want someone that knows themselves, know what they want in life, gonna go get it. You know, we have obstacles in life, but we can overcome them. And that's really it. And you're going to be honest. Honest with yourself, and then therefore you can be honest with me. Okay, what are your deal breakers? Kids. So, don't have kids. Um, don't be a liar. And relationships. I want you to have good relationships with um, your people that's around you. Your family, your friends, your mother, whoever it may be. You need to have good relationships with them because I'm going to see that and then no, that's the way you'll treat me. Okay, fair enough. So, do you want children yourself? I do. Okay, so no kids. But how about the guy has no? The guy can't have no kids. Oh, no. she has no kids, so that's a fair request. Should the guy look a certain way? Um, I want him to be healthy, and whatever your version of healthy is. Is that exactly fair? This woman, she first of all, she came up here and lied, talking about she twenty five and she thirty. You, you got the <laughs> tattoos. You made poor decisions when you're 25. Message. Message. She got mm -hmm. tattoos all the way up to her hand. Everywhere. Everywhere. So she probably did all that, ladies, when you're 20 and you think you can do what you want. You really can't because you pay for it in your 30s. That part. And and you find yourself single by choices. Oh, <laughs> go figure. Listen here. You sisters out here, this sister, she big. She part of the Big Bat Clan. The Kendra Cam going to verify that. You sisters don't want to be out here looking for a man. Whether you childless or not, blowed out with 10% of your body covered in ink, it's just a very brutish, masculine appearance. You could do whatever the heck y'all want to do because y'all going to do it anyway. Just we just trying to help y'all understand the outcomes. So when you get tattoos like this and you all blowed out, you know what I'm saying, up here, when like Andre the Giant, then then it is what it is. And, and she listen, said, and, and she says you, you can't have kids. That's what I wanted to hit on. So if she's 35, mm -hmm. I think a woman, maybe a 25-year-old woman can can have a request. 35, you can't ask no kids. I I want to make this point as far as these tattoos, I'm trying to give y'all some real life instances. I got a, a friend from college, she's married. Okay, she's married. And she was able to get married. She, you know, she has a beautiful kid before she got married. Yes. Yes, she was a whole single mom. And she got married. And she got a tattoo. A big tattoo. You want to know how she ended up getting married to a good dude, a real dude? Probably Mr. Six Figures. Because <laughs> she's also a fitness model. You see? You see? Compensation. You got to overcompensate for certain things. That's all. Just a little message for y'all. Lion Bone Quisha in Atlanta. It is over. We just here to see this trade wreck. It's already over. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> like if we going on a hike and we have an elevation to climb a of hike. 200, 300 feet, we need to be climbing. Like you can't stop and say, no, I'm stopping. So that's what I say that drive, even if it's, you know, it's hurting you as long as you ain't got to the point of a heart attack. I need you to keep going, you know. Like, I want you to drive. I want you to be healthy. I like to get active. I like to be outside. I'm in a utility company, so majority of the time I'm in and out. I'm outside. So I need you to be healthy. Um, I need you to have uh, just good personal hygiene. You upkeep, your, you upkeep your hair yourself, even if it's a haircut, dreads. I don't know. Whatever you have, like, you need to keep yourself well-groomed. 
Okay. So those fingernails, all of that stuff. Keep yourself well groomed. What about money? Do you gotta make a certain amount of money? Um, you need to be able to, yes, make a certain amount of money to withstand your lifestyle. So you need to be able to um, travel, bills are paid, nothing is laid, um, good credit. It's not a dollar amount on it because we all make different ranges in life. Like you may be used to making 130K, but your 130K is check to check to check to check. Um, and then somebody could be having 50K and they can go on every every trip because their bills are paid, their credit is good. They got a 2% rate on their car. I don't know, interest rate on their car, you know? Hmm. Stop the cap. Huh. Stop I'm the so cap. tired of that. I'm so tired of that sick. Who do they come here? We're trying to virtue signal in this sick. Mr. 130K, he could be living check to check to check to check. But Mr. 50K, he could be able to go on every vacation and do this and that and that and this. Oh, uh, yeah, perhaps. Show him to me. Show me Mr. 50K that can vacation whenever he wants to. Just show him to me. Give me the context. It's possible if he's some kind of trust fund, take care of. I don't know what the freak kind of scenarios they think in their head. But 50K going on vacations. Okay, good luck. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to catch this Kendra Cam. Shout out to Richa Media, y'all. Yeah, get that money. Richa come through with the $20 half off shorty. You are now a show sponsor with the Big Joker. He says, I need you to get in the gym and push back from the table. Hmm. There you go. We're going to see this Kendra Cam. And let's, let's make sure we on base. But other than that, it don't really matter. She came online. She tried. She she had an inkling to tell us that she was ten years younger than she actually is. Oh. Strike one through freaking three. She's in Atlanta. Strike three through six, <laughs> and she blowed out. We ain't gonna keep playing this sick game. Her hair looks nice though. <laughs> and I see Cap Dog come through with the five dollars. He says I'm a fifty year old truck driver making eighty five k plus a year, but not for me. There you go. There you go. And the beast come back. So she won a Marine. Let me call my recruiter. Yeah! <laughs> a, a Marine? Let me see. Uh, What did she say she want? How you get a Marine out of that? <laughs> Man. Oh, she wants somebody to jog. Oh, she going to die. <laughs> Shout out to Divine Photos. Says stop prioritizing traveling. He says dudes don't want to travel for for the fun of it. Money and travel is more important to women than finding good characteristics in a man. There you go. That part. And here's the thing: if you really want an ambitious man to just be spending money, they can't recoup all business trips. You got to be applying this kind of pressure. Can we get that through our heads this year, please? Here we go, Kendra Cam. So it just depends on your money management, your mind when it comes to that. Okay, let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh. Okay, we see you, bro. All right, well, you got big breasts like me. <laughs> yes. It's not it, man. It's not it. They raking her over the coals in Atlanta, man. She can't get nothing. <laughs> She's 35. Y'all, like I said, 35, no kids. Like I said, two things is true. She hadn't, she ain't been a nun. She ain't been in nobody's church, you Come know, on. reading a good book. She been out here running the carousel. So, and that's and that's fine, I guess. You know, do what y'all want, cause y'all is and is. But what she requests, she in Atlanta again. <laughs> Bonquisha's desperate escape from Atlanta and her desperate attempt to try to find a man, and she ain't left Atlanta. Just that alone, you're a liar in Atlanta. You're a blowed out liar in Atlanta. Go and sit your tail down somewhere. <laughs> she got that tattoo up her own. That's a poor decision. In your poor. 20s, ladies, y'all got to stop. And Man. I hardly ever come up here and get on it. But, but come on now. What you asking for? Poor. 
poor just look at that brutish tattoo you y'all can't be big backs with with big tattoos that's very much giving wrestler and viking warrior just just know that <laughs> seriously so yeah first thing she need to do before she run up on any man is could you um big your back no you can't do shit like that could you um big your back no you can't do shit like that could you um big your back uh, <laughs> shuggy what's her name Shug. <laughs> that's all so with stain yeah she ain't even worth catching the instagram this is a typical is what what we doing her junior band this might be the, as kind as we can be yeah junior junior band she ain't got no kids she can she could turn it around she 35 Woo, times out times out times out she in atlanta she lied big band i'm on no she lied her first her first reaction when she found out she was on camera was to lie Sure. And she and she blowed out in Atlanta. I'm making a move for the big band on this one. What y'all say, chat? I right. drop a one in the chat for the big band. Drop a her, two for the little band. Get her, Gwenda. <laughs> <laughs> get her. Yeah, it is this big band work right here. She th she 35 and lying in Atlanta. She deserved a sub. Okay, you know, I got time for this line. All right, I see ones, I see twos. So one was big band. All right, all right. <laughs> you see it? Yes, they did. <laughs> Even though Gwendolyn said no, it's unfortunate. Gwendolyn, it's unfortunate. No, she said she said big band. She said oh, yeah, okay. she, yeah. There we go. Hit the like button if you're just coming in. Um, it appears like she getting the big band, folks. What you say, these nuts? One band, one sound. <laughs> That's all. You out of there. Come here, mm. lion. Lion. What? What does? What does the Lord hate? Huh? A liar and a thief. And if you scratch a liar, you find a thief. What are we talking about? She ain't. All she gonna do is steal. She gonna steal your your goods, your resources, and a bit of your sanity. Ain't worth it. Here we go. Hit the like button. 